what's going on guys recon here and welcome back to another video and here we have the pixel 7 pro with the hands-on experience of android 16 beta it is finally out on the pixel 7 pro and android 16 has really changed a lot how the pixel 7 pro whether it is the you know the home screen the layout there's even a new lay app grid layout now you can see and the app drawer the background is now not you know a solid color and as y'all can see here we have android 16 and it's still not officially out but right now it is on the early stages of beta but once you actually update your pixel device to android 16 you're able to find this little easter egg uh where you can play a game and basically in this game you just have to find other planets it's i don't even know why google made it but going back to how it is um you can actually change a lot well kind of a lot but not really but the main thing here is on the wallpapers you can definitely change a lot of the wallpapers uh there's new features like you can have fog you can have rain on the wallpaper or snow or even the sun and on, the, on that little bar you can you know put it however intensity you want or you could put the local weather uh, to you but you can also change the shape if that makes sense yeah like of the home screen um so you can really do a lot and there's also a 3d motion but this is mostly just for pictures where there's a person on the background of your phone um and i'm not gonna lie you can you've i've noticed a lot of things like you know the volume slider changed a lot it changed the, it's totally different to how it is on android uh, 15 or let's say for example one ui 7 or when you it doesn't matter you get the point it's different it's a ref, definitely a big refresh and here you can definitely also change how big you want the buttons to be if you want them to be big or just small um you can change a lot on android 16 um and i'm honestly super excited for it to come out now one thing i can for sure say is that definitely stock android on pixel is completely different compared if you compare stock android on pixel on the samsung device um and honestly i'm not i will be honest i thought that at the beginning the beta was gonna be a little bit how would i say it it was gonna be a little bit you know on the buggy side just because of things that i've seen on the internet like for example on reddit posts um, I was going through Reddit and I seen some people complaining about the beta program, um, complaining how it was buggy um, and laggy. And I won't lie, at the beginning it was a little bit laggy to me, but that was when I first, um, like when the first, when the phone first re uh, reset it after the update. Um, I, I just started, boom, right away I just started scrolling and it was a bit laggy. I won't lie, it was laggy, but it was like after I would say five minutes, after five minutes of it being like that. It went back to normal and the experience is really good i'm not even gonna lie i think i think here google what google has done is definitely a remodel of the ui kind of but not really i would say they remodeled like a 40 percent of their ui they definitely remodeled 40 percent of their ui because they've only changed certain few things but you gotta take in mind this is the early stages of the beta for the pixel um or just basically oh overall just stock android not just a pixel um but so far i won't like i do like the beta i do like um how it's turned out so far uh so hopefully when it actually comes out like when android 16 fully comes out like stock android 16 not the beta hopefully it isn't buggy for people um but honestly everything is really good also another thing i noticed on uh, this new uh, beta of Android 16 is that uh, the sounds like hold on let me see let me see if okay hold on let's see if y'all can hear this let's see wait is it even big fail um <laughs> well uh one thing i did notice is that the the sound that it makes whenever you unlock the phone and turn off the phone is totally different to what android 6 uh, 15 was to the noise that it used to make back in android um 
15, but I'm not up late. Like I said, Android 16 so far has been a really fun experience. It's just like one U, it's like one UI 7 on the Galaxy, um, the newer, the newer Galaxies, well, and the S23 Ultra now, and you know, continuing, starting to you know, spread out to other phones. And right now, I'm testing the A15, so I'm waiting for one UI 7 to come on the A15. Uh, so maybe I'll make a video when it comes out, but. Uh, actually it has come out but it's not here in the US it's, it depends on the region you are also but um, I have experienced one UI 7 on the S23 Ultra that I did own and I won't lie <laughs> at the beginning I was a little bit jealous because it was a whole different experience like the UI I would say like a 65% change uh, which is a big difference compared to a 40% on stock Android but like I said right now it is the early stages of Android 16 beta so let's just wait for more updates to come in and then hopefully more features come in but I won't lie if you have a pixel I, you should give the beta a try because it's a whole different experience you know, like it just feels refreshing being able to see new stuff you know how you're able to customize every single thing it's just way better right now in my opinion uh, compared to Android 15 uh, like don't get me wrong Android 15 was fun and all but Android 16 it's gonna be a big one, especially you know competing competing with One UI 7 and I guess you could say iOS 18, but not really. I, maybe when I, iOS 19 comes out, maybe it will be in the competitor so far of, of stock UIs for their own devices, right? But so far right now, Android 16 it wants some smoke with One UI 7. But like I said, One UI 7 has is different experience like you feel the phone different like it gives you like that refresh of a phone like this is a new phone it's not the phone that i used to have like when there was one ui4 one ui5 i mean one ui5 should be specific then one ui6 came out and it, it changed a lot it changed a lot um but it wasn't that big of a change for the ui just like right now with android 16 but don't get me wrong android 16 is still like it, it feels different and I think most that's mostly because due to the phone that I have which is um a pixel 7 pro and it uses stock Android because you know, it's a Google phone right um but like I said it is early stages of Android 16 but I am really excited for what's about to come I hope I hope we get more features you know more special features like maybe i don't know maybe a refresh of the camera app the camera app could you know probably use a little refresh um in my opinion it could use uh, on stock uh, on stock pixel so who knows maybe maybe we will get new features <laughs> maybe we won't but that's been it guys i just really wanted to touch on this um on the Android 16 beta and honestly it's been really fun uh, and that, that's one thing I love that's that's one thing I love about the things that I do I'm able to you know review stuff like that so hey let's just hope we get the features we want for stock Android 16 and honestly I think I might be enjoying Android 16 a little bit more than when you Y7 but who knows maybe I'm just being biased <laughs> who knows well um it's been it guys, thank you so much for watching the video and I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Peace.